Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Welcome to my channel. Okay guys, it is early in the morning and typically or normally I don't film or make videos like early in the morning because I just, I just don't. But it happens today. This is the only time I have is early in the morning. So I feel like <laughs> I all like frog throat and cracky throat and a uh, sleep voice. But forgive me, it's the only time I got but, however, I have basically used this tube of eye cream completely up. There might be maybe just a drop left in the tube. Been absolutely loving this stuff. This is um, Korean skincare. I love Korean skincare. I don't talk about it. Um, I talk about it some, but I don't talk about it as often as, as I probably should because I buy and try and use a lot of good Korean skincare. I also use a lot of Korean hair care as well. This one really stood out to me. I'm going to go ahead and do a review on this. Um, I bought this about a month ago. I've kind of blown through this tube pretty quick. I've blown through it in a month. Um, this is the AHC. This is the Ageless Real Eye Cream for Face. So the thing is with this eye cream, not only can you use it as an eye cream, but you can also use it as a face cream. I must say I didn't, however... I did not use it as a face cream because I felt like the tube would not last that long. It wouldn't go very far. And being that I liked it under eye and around the eye so much that I didn't want to waste it like all over my face. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? But I can tell you this. I think that if you were to use it around your eyes and all over your face as well, it would be great for that. However, I reserved it for the sole purpose of around my eyes and under my eyes. I really did love this stuff. First off, let me say I did find, um, this is the box and it has a really like purplish holographic looking appearance to the box and the tube. It's pretty, it's pretty pretty, you know what I mean? I like that. But we're not here to rate the packaging or, you know, the aesthetics of it or the tube or whatever. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and say is I'm pointing out the fact that it does have a very strong fragrance. It does have a strong smell. That's probably the only con that I could find with the product. Everything else, ha there's pros to everything else about it. So I just don't like the overpowering smell. But I will say this, once it penetrates around your eyes, into your skin, uh, does this magic, all that good stuff, the smell does go away. So like 10 or 15 minutes into the game, the smell does, it will diminish. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't stay around and super linger, if you know what I mean. But I do wish it was more low-key with the fragrance and the smell. I don't feel that the product needs that much fragrance. It's a great product, but I don't feel it needs to be as fragranced. Now, however, keep in mind, when I say this, I say this as a person that has crazy bad sinus problems and I have scent sensitivity issues. So, when in fact, if you don't have any of that stuff, you're good, you know what I mean? You're probably not even gonna know that it's that fragranced. Okay, let me take a drink, guys. I'm, I'm like all croggy and croaky and froggy and... <laughs> It's early in the morning. I can't believe I'm filming. You know what I mean? Okay, hang on. Okay, but I will say this has the best texture to it. I don't know what it is, but there's something about it. Like the texture of the cream, the fluidity of it uh, on the skin, against the skin, and the way it soaks into the skin, the way it penetrate, penetrates into the skin. I love it. And I got no irritation from it, no stinging, no burning sensation. You know, I've used a lot of eye creams. I've been using eye creams since I was eight or nine years old. I'll, you know, for a lifetime, basically. I started as a kid. My very first eye cream was the, the Clinique Turnaround Eye Cream. And I was about nine years old. Fell in love with it. Been using eye cream ever since. So it's been a, a lifetime for me buying a trying, you know, eye creams. Uh, anyhow, this is just a super good one. It really is. And a lot of them over the years have burned. They sting. They irritate. Uh, they make you tear up. 
all that. I didn't get anything like that from this product. Absolutely no irritation. Keep in mind, I do have, you know, sensitive skin, but like I said, no irritation whatsoever. Really love it. It was thick. It was creamy. It was super emollient. Uh, this is an eye cream that you could possibly get away with using underneath makeup or cosmetics. Uh, without being too much of a mudslide. You know what I mean? Have makeup just melt off. If you use a small amount under makeup, you're good. Now, I wouldn't go very heavy-handed or otherwise. It would just be too smushy to wear under makeup, if that makes sense. Go in with a very uh, small, minute, menial amount, you know, and then if you don't use enough, then the next time you wear makeup, you know, put it on, use a little more, then try your makeup on top of it. But always start out slow. Like, if you don't know how a product is going to act under makeup, how it's going to appear under makeup, how it's going to wear under makeup, always start out sm small amounts. Slow-handed, small amounts, real light-fingered. Don't start out heavy-handed because you don't know how things are going to wear under makeup. Start out with a small amount. Build up if you have to. You're good. I think this would be something definitely that would be able to work under makeup. Um, however, for me, I reserved it for the times when I come home in the evenings from work, uh, you know, go through my double cleansing skincare routine, cleanse my skin, then I put it on. And then I also reapply it again at night before I go to bed. Now, my nighttime routine at night before I go to bed is very heavy. I wear a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mean I layer products. I just mean I will wear one or two products, but I will wear them nice and heavy, almost in the form of like masking before I go to sleep because that way when I sleep, it's just that's my time that is my time solely for my products to work their magic do their thing you know before I have to be up the next morning and be at the law firm and have to you know look all pretty and be presentable or you know or before I have to be at the hair salon or before I have to be at my electrolysis clinic you know I have three level three professional level jobs so <laughs> you, know, you know I have to look very 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 good at all of them you know what I mean uh, but in order to do that, I do go very heavy on nighttime skincare routines, and this was part of it. I would go very heavy at night right before I go to bed around my eye, and this was a good eye cream that you could smear like all over the eyes. I was able to uh, put it on the orbital bone, uh, on the along the orbital bone, up into my eyebrow hairs, smeared it down underneath my eyes, uh, even dabbed it on my eyelids, my upper eyelids. I was able to do that. So I felt like I was able to uh, surround my eyes with this eye cream. And at night before I go to bed, just kind of encase my eyes with this product. And I do feel that it definitely helped with puffiness. Like I'd wake up in the morning. I don't feel maybe as much eye puffiness as I normally get because, you know, I have crazy bad sinus problems. Puffiness kind, it kind of sadly goes hand to hand with, you know, puffy eyes and things like that when you wake up in the morning. But it did help with puffiness. Um, I will say like dark circles and things like that. I, I don't. I don't. Um, I don't see any difference for that. Uh, but like I've said for years, I've used eye creams an entire lifetime. And I have yet to come across something that's going to impact uh, better or impede in any way dark under eye circleage. I just don't see anything that actually technically touches that other than a good, you know, corrected concealer, something that would more or less cover that up. You could cover that up. You can hide that. You can... Uh, do it in that manner but you're not going to be able to completely you know what I mean you're not going to be able to fix it and you're not going to be able to remove dark under eye circles you, you're just you know you're just not and that's the sad reality of skincare but that is what it is you know what I mean uh, this is hydrating it's emollient it's super moisturizing I loved it non-stinging non-irritating non-burning really great stuff used it for a month i just will say this to reiterate information be repetitive here i think the smell is a little strong but i'm good with that you know I'm, I'm okay with it i did get used to it um would i buy this again absolutely yes i would i love korean skincare i love eye creams um and it it's really 
For me, eye creams, it's kind of true. The trickiest part of skincare is eye creams because finding a good one, it's a little tricky. You know what I mean? Anyhow, I'm going to show you guys a quick texture of the product here real quick before I let you guys go. If there's a drop left in the tube, I've basically emptied this out. Been using it, like I said, for a month. So, and I've gone heavy handed, but anyhow, I'm able to squeeze a little bit out right there. I just wanted you guys to be able, and um, actually, you know, like when the video is over here, I'm probably going to get, probably going to get some scissors and kind of cut the tube open and get like every little last drop I can of the product so I can use it. This is the texture. It's so, it's like the fluidity of it against the skin, along the skin. It is like smooth as silk. Absolutely love, love, love it, love it. I love you guys. I thank you for watching. Let me know, do you like Korean skincare and Korean hair care like I do? Uh, it's just a really important part of my routines. I love skincare from other countries. I love hair care from other countries. Um, I've been in the process lately of trying a lot of Pantene products from other countries. I've tried uh, Pantene products from Thailand. I have bought and tried Pantene products from Japan. Um, I've bought and tried Pantene products from Mexico. So all the great countries out there, I like to see what's offered to them. What, what those people get to use, like what do the great people, you know, use that are from the Ukraine, from Russia, you know, Latvia, the Philippines, Malaysia, Thailand, you know, Japan, Korea. I love to, love to be able to experience products from other countries that, everybody else was able, you know what I mean, that, that they can get, that the people from these countries, what they use. I like to see what works, what doesn't work, and um, it's just so very interesting, and I love it so much. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye, gorgeous. Be sure to give me that thumbs up. Be sure to hit the bell button. Stay subscribed, and uh, keep current on all my videos, because I get a little backlogged with uh putting videos up but you know when I put videos up I put them up with a bang like I will upload 10 or 20 videos in one day or five videos in one day so I get a little behind filming um you know but I mean not filming I get a little behind uploading I don't get behind filming I get behind uploading I love you take care bye gorgeous